Hello guys, welcome back and thank you for watching. Today's video is going to be a fashion video. Um, I am going to be focused on creating five, let's say, autumn winter outfits, not like depths of winter where you've got your coat and your scarf and your hat and your gloves on, so I'm just tangled up with my necklaces up here. Um, five winter outfits, but talking through more of the process of putting them together, which is a question I get asked lots. And it's something that I genuinely cannot answer most of the time because I gen often don't even feel like I have a process or that I do it very well. It's a lot of just sort of stabbing in the dark and seeing what we get and then falling back on the same combinations that feel safe and trustworthy. Um, but I thought I would try and do five full outfits and talk through how we get to there basically. This video contains a sponsorship with Arquette which is very exciting. You guys know I'm a very big fan of the brand and wear lots of their stuff. Um, they gift me lots of things all the time which is amazing but they're also paying me for this video. So this is sponsored um, and there's going to be few Arquette pieces in here but also other branded pieces as well and I'll make it very clear which ones are the Arquette ones as well. So I'm starting off with a base here. This is actually all our kit, this base. This is a um, black cashmere jumper that they do, which is so nice. It's such a nice fit. It just hangs really, really well off the body. Um, what size did I get this in? I got this in a small, so it fits quite oversized. Actually, I think a medium would have been more drowning, but it's really, really nice, and the sleeves are a really good length and everything. Um, and then I have on with it here these kind of like leggings. They're, they're like a legging, but a fit thicker than a legging. So you can definitely, as you can see, you could wear them as a trouser. You don't. It's not like a legging where you then need to worry about your knickers being on show or your bum being out too much. They're definitely thick enough to wear and they've got like back pockets stitched in and things and then a big seam down the front and then the detail that's really nice is they've got this split here at the bottom um, which we're going to sort of talk about in a second when you're putting boots on with it. Um, so yeah, this is my base. Excuse my phone vibrating there. So if I'm honest, this kind of a base doesn't excite me. It feels like the kind of thing I would wear when I was waitressing when I was a teenager, but it's a really good foundation to do either a good evening outfit or a very good daytime outfit, because I'm going to do an option of both. Right, for the evening look, I've gone for something quite sort of grungy, let's say. This jacket that I've put on is a leather one from Under the Stories. Just quite a nice alternative to a blazer. I've said recently, but I'm not loving blazers at the moment. And this feels like a good length to wear with um, leggings like this. And having tight trousers on, I think, in an evening and showing your legs off in this way instantly makes it look quite like an evening look because you are showing legs but without actually having your skin out. Um, as opposed to for the daytime look, I'd wear something much bigger. Um, but the thing these trousers are great for, so I've put on here my Dior boots, um, which you guys know how much I love and wear every single year. Arquette do have a great alternative to these boots, which I will link as well. But what's so good about this split is that you see the boot comes up to kind of just above the ankle. And this split means that you don't get a like a big line where the boot ends, which just looks really, really unflattering. So it means the trousers sit so well over the boots and I just think these style of boots like a pointy low heel boot instantly is just really sexy but not in an over the top way and these are also heels that I can actually walk in so this is the kind of thing that I would wear to go out for an evening with this as my base and now I'm going to do daytime option okay for more of a daytime look I've stuck with boots just because I really think one of the strong points about these is the split that I just keep talking about. Um, these are my Todd's boots, which I've had for a couple of years now, and I wanted to go for something chunky to show the difference that of how great something like this looks with a slim fit, slim, slimmer boot, but also with something a little bit chunkier. These have got quite a heavy sole. Um, and then to break up the all black, although I do think this would also look great with a black trench, which I'm going to try to, I have first gone with this beige classic trench, which is from Weekend by Max Mara, 
with the tan buttons um this like trench coat beige and black is always such an effort effortlessly chic combination i'm just going to try on a black trench as well to see what we think for that option okay so here is your black one which i also really like this is my totem pisa trench um from last year or the year before i can't remember um i think i probably slightly prefer the beige trench maybe that's only because for the evening outfit i put on something all black as well but this does look great and feels quite a bit grungier just with it being all black and with the chunky boots but i love the combination of a big 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 oversized coat like this with a skinny trouser and the big boot um it makes it a bit less classic than if you just had a you know really um traditional chelsea boot or something like my church's ones i think this breaks it up nicely but it's still really effortless and doesn't feel too trend led or anything like that um but i think i would opt for the lighter trend so back with the lighter trench which when i look at them side by side like this i definitely prefer and i've just added a jumper on my shoulders um i know this kind of styling isn't for everybody but i personally really like it i just think it nicely breaks up an outfit adds another element to it um in a way that is just I prefer it undone actually, I'm not fussing with that. Um, in a way that is quite practical because it does keep you warm and you have a jumper on hand if you need another layer. But it is, I don't know what it is. I just really like it. And for this one I've gone with, this is also from Arquette, which I'll show you on later. But it's a really dark forest green sweatshirt from the men's section. Um, and I like the fact it kind of looks black on camera here, but you can see a bit more in the light that it's not. Um, so even though you've got such a dark base, this breaks it up quite nicely and really goes well with the colour of the trench coat. And I think adding, it's the same with the scarf, when you add something like this to a big coat, it breaks up so nicely because you've just got so much of one colour, one fabric, one shape when you wear a big coat. And in the winter we have to wear our big coats to be warm and practical. So things like scarves and a jumper on the shoulder is such a nice way to break it up a little bit and just add something had something new so I do implore you to try it if you haven't already um, and yeah I think this would be my final daytime outfit with the leggings and the jumper okay here we have base number two these are my weekday voyage jeans uh, my church's Chelsea boots if I had to recommend one pair of boots to the world if you want to invest a pair of boots you'll have forever and will last forever these are my recommendation and they will be year on year this i think is the third or fourth year i've had them and they are just they're just the best like they really i, I can't say enough good things about them go one size down in my opinion um and have them forever and never get bored of them and they're so comfortable i just can't say enough good about them so we've got my church's boots, weekday voyage jeans on, and then the green sweatshirt that I was just talking to you about then. It is a really, really, really dark green. And the only reasoning behind the styling is that I personally love dark green and white as a combination, or off-white or cream. I think it just really, really works. I really like it. Um, it's hard to place what it is I like about it, other than I, it's just it's just nice <laughs> let's just leave it with that and i feel like this combination with a sweatshirt especially not being a knit small details like that can make an outfit feel really different for me the texture of a knit i find a lot more sort of elegant a lot more classic a lot more effortless in some ways the texture of a sweatshirt instantly feels a lot more sportswear to me um and I sometimes struggle to wear sweatshirts for that reason. It might just be because psychologically I'm used to wearing them around the house, so then they never feel that dressed up. But for that reason, I wanted to then pair it with a smarter and really, really classic pair of boots as well, so that that had a nice balance to it. And then I would also finish this off for sure for the winter for a long coat. Um, but if I'm honest, when it's raining loads, I don't wear white jeans because I find if you walk through a puddle, or just walking on a wet street you end up with um, dirty watermarks all at the back but while it's just those lovely cold but not rainy days this with a really really long coat um a white denim adds a really nice dimension into an outfit so trying the totem trench with this again uh, but if i'm honest i think i want something even a bit longer 
and something a bit more a bit smarter and just a bit more classic this is obviously a trench it's really 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 classic but basically what i'm saying is i think it needs a wool coat with it and something just a touch longer which will make this whole bottom half look a bit more flattering um so this is not the coat this however absolutely is this is my new winter coat and um, it was sent to me from philippa k and is definitely my sort of fancy coat of the season it is a navy blue you guys know i love navy blue wool coat which looks amazing with this dark green oh, i'm so excited with this as a combination um and it's just such a beautifully cut and classic piece so as you can see the difference in the length I just think it's so much more flattering. From the side, you just get a tiny slither of white, which breaks up the whole outfit nicely, but means that it doesn't, I don't know, it kind of mel uh, blends it all together a lot better with that length almost matching the hem of the jeans. Um, and again, like as I was saying about the casualness of the sweatshirt, or what I personally find casual in a sweatshirt, I think is balanced then really nicely with such a chic and classic piece like this. Um, and yeah, I think white jeans can be intimidating year round, but especially in winter, but with dark colours and also colours that aren't just all black when it's too monochrome I find the white to stand out almost too much but you wearing dark colours like the dark green and the navy together with the white definitely makes it a bit more tonal as opposed to being a stark contrast between just black and white so this is outfit number two I might wear this today actually <laughs> I just slipped on the jumper that I'm going to talk about next while I still had these jeans on and thought it was a great opportunity to talk. I mean, it looks great, but I much prefer having like a green or navy jumper with my white denim for the winter instead of it looking so blocky, like black, white, black, how this looks. So I thought that just was a quick way to demonstrate that point. Right, guys, the next one is one that I'm struggling to style. So this is hopefully going to be more of an interesting process of getting there. Um, the two things which are from Arquette is this jumper, which I just had on before, which is a really nice high-necked one. It's got like a split at the back of the neck, which I don't, I don't think I've got any hope of showing you that, if I'm honest. Um, but what I kind of really went off high neck jumpers last winter because I found that when I wore them, I just spent the whole day being like, ugh, like it's just annoying me. But I think it's because most of the ones that I have kind of hang down, so they just fuss and are in the way. Whereas this sits so nice and straight, as you can see, it's not turned over or anything. So I think I'll get on really well with this one because it's not going to bug me. Um, and it's also the perfect short length. You know that blue Everlane jumper that I've had for years and worn to death? The, my favourite thing about that jumper is the shorter length of it and this is a really, really, really similar length. So I think this is going to be a piece of wear loads. I'm going to style it with another outfit where like, with I don't have a jacket on. But for now, we mostly want to talk about the jacket. So last winter I really wanted a puffer jacket just for how much time I spend going out on walks. They're really, really practical. But because they're so closely linked with practicality in my head, I just don't know how to style them without basically feeling like I'm going on a walk. You know, I don't know how to wear them day to day. Um, so, and I've been looking at loads of like the Danish girls and all the Scandi girls who style winter clothes so well, because obviously their winters are so cold and they always wear puffer jackets and they just look so good. And I just can't do it myself and I'm still struggling now. Um, but with that in mind, I asked Arquette to send me this one, which is a bit different to other ones I've tried because it's a lot, um, it's not like big puffs, you know what I mean? It's not big cushiony bits, it's more quilted, um, which I thought might make it a bit easier for me to style and ease myself into it. It's got this big pocket here, it's three quarter lengths, which hopefully will be good for this video because we've mostly focused on long coats. And what I really like about it is the collar. It doesn't have a big standy up neck. It's not got a hood. It's just really simple around here. And it makes the overall thing feel a lot more streamlined. However, I'm still struggling to style. Currently, I just have on my weekday voyage jeans in the mid blue. But I don't dislike it, but I don't love it. I think I need to try a black jean or a black trouser of some sort instead of blue denim and then maybe wearing all black will make it feel a bit more chic and pulled together and then as I get more comfortable wearing it I'll be able to style it easier with more casual things without feeling like I'm going on a walk basically that's what 
that's what's putting me off the whole thing but the shape of it's lovely okay guys just did a total 180 so I loved how the coat looked with the high neck but then decided maybe something lighter would be better where you can actually see that collar detail that I really like so I've gone with this is the jumper that I bought in Japan last winter and that black one that I just had on, on from Arquette also comes in a light colour which is quite similar to this so I'm going to link that as well in the description box because this it would be a great alternative to this one um, this has literally just come out of the wardrobe so it's really creased but some of you might remember me getting it and then like I said black trousers and then I suddenly remembered you've got a pair of leather trousers that could work so that it's not a denim texture so I've pulled out my old and other stories leather trousers um, I'll link something similar they might still be available again Arquette have got a lot of leather at the moment um, and they're just like a really great straight leg leather trouser which I actually think I'm going to wear today and then I was torn between the two boots um, not this these are not two pairs of boots the boot or the trainer but I think now that I've changed I mean I like both I'd like how I sort of am airing towards this just because I like being able to see some ankle between I think the, the shape of the these trousers are really great and a really good straight leg so they look really good then being able to see your ankles and socks and then the trainer but really both would work let me try the the trainer properly guys what do you reckon I feel like I'm getting there with it slowly but surely getting there I might also try it on with my with some black jeans too just because lots of you guys might not have black leather trousers but I think a lot of you would have black jeans so be a nice way to show that styling but I do like the texture combination of the leather with the with the nylon this is nylon isn't it the anyway you know the the texture of the jacket um this coat's going to be going to be a tricky one. Let me try with the boots as well so that we can see it fully finished with both options. Right guys, this is the boots. The boots are actually better. What was I thinking? The boots definitely work better with this. And I do like how the cream sort of complement. Like, like I said, it's just not quite nice being able to see the collar on it but I also also want to try it with a jumper with, without a high neck as well and see what that looks like but this feels like a very good very practical very practical winter outfit I'm really pleased with what I've ended up with here what do you all think and then like I said maybe in time I'll get better at styling this coat and it find it easier to wear with actual like blue denim which is still my most worn thing so um yeah I'm pleased with this though. Okay, I love this even more. I've gone with something overall smarter and back to all black. So we've got the first cashmere knit from Arquette that I showed you and I even like it more how, especially if you've got your gold necklaces that outline are all underneath, but how the, um, you see it just comes together really nicely and sits really close to the neck. Really like that. So the Arquette black cashmere weekday voyage jeans again uh, this time in black and then these are some really gorgeous new boots that Philippa Kay sent to me along with that coat earlier um they're amazing look at that toe look at that heel they're just so good and it's quite nice having a smarter boot on with the coat definitely feels very chic and alleviating the two the practical vibes that I have been um, needlessly worrying about I should say I think this is a very personal thing I have in my head that most people will be like what I think no I don't think that about a quilted jacket um, but yes I love this let's do one more outfit with the black high neck jumper because I feel like I didn't end up giving that very much screen time because I switched it for the lighter one ending on quite possibly my favourite outfit of them all um, this is so much better for you actually to be able to see the knit than how I was showing it earlier so it's got a lovely dropped sleeve um, dropped hem, dropped shoulder lots of terms the high neck like I said which I am just definitely going to make the most of wearing while I've got my short hair this is a weird angle but I really like that combination <laughs> um, and like I said just the most perfect length these are very high waisted jeans which I could quite easily tuck it into without having loads of extra fabric hanging around but 
I like it untucked. The jeans are weekday row. I actually had these ones for years. And then those same Philippa K boots. I really, really like this outfit. This is what I'm going to be wearing today. In fact, I'm not going to get changed now. Um, yeah, these boots are so good. I love them and love how this all looks together. Um, but yes, thank you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. Um, thank you to Arquette for working with me on this. It's such a joy to be paid to work with a brand that you've promoted so heavily for so long. Um, and just their clothes are beautiful. I really vouch for the quality. So much of it, I've washed so much and worn for years now. So I can just say so much good about them. Um, and the way that they, even the whole of the reason I also wanted a puffer jacket was because the way that they style things online, on their online styling is so good. So um, yes, big thank you to them. And thank you all of you for watching. Links for everything in the description box. And I'll see you in the next one.